The owner's tears said it all. This dog was suffering from one of the worst combined infections I've ever seen. As a veterinary technician. Don't worry, sweetie. We'll have you feeling better in no time. As always, a content warning is in effect. The footage you are about to see is graphic and upsetting, but it's a powerful educational case study. Let's begin. This is your warning. The video we are about to analyze is one of the most graphic medical cases I have ever seen. This is not a tick infestation. This is a severe case of myiasis, where a dog's open wound has been infested with thousands of maggots. As a vet tech, I'm going to pause and analyze every critical step of this life-saving procedure. This is intense, but the education is vital. Okay, I'm pausing right here. As I warned, this is extremely graphic. This is myasis, a parasitic infestation of live maggots in a necrotic, dead tissue, wound. This dog is in septic shock. It's weak, it's anemic, and its body is being overwhelmed by this massive infection. The maggots are eating the rotting flesh. This is a life-threatening emergency. The team is masked and gloved, which is essential for biosafety. The first step is to shave all the matted fur away from the wound. You cannot treat a wound of this size without exposing it completely. The fur traps bacteria, debris, and fluid, making the infection worse. Tam Dung 0210. As they shave, you can see the true extent of the wound. It's massive. This is a crucial professional first step. This part alone takes incredible care not to damage the fragile skin further. Now begins the manual debridement, catlock lamb sack. They are using forceps to physically remove thousands of maggots, one by one. This is a painstaking, hours-long process. You must be incredibly patient. Look at that. They are flushing the wound cavity. This is irrigation. They are using a sterile solution, probably saline with an antiseptic like betadine, to flush out the parasites and necrotic debris. The pressure from the stream helps dislodge them from deep within the tissue. This flushing and picking process is repeated over and over. Let's analyze this stage. The wound is starting to look cleaner. It's raw, it's red, but the necrotic tissue and the maggots are mostly gone. This pink tissue here is granulation tissue. This is new, healthy tissue trying to grow. That's a good sign. They are now applying a powdered medication, possibly an antibiotic or a substance to stop the bleeding. They are being incredibly thorough. This is the difference between life and death, getting every single maggot and all the dead tissue out. And now, after all that, we get the after. This is the reward. Look at this, it's the same dog. The wound has completely healed over. The fur is growing back. The dog is walking, it's alert, it's alive. This is a medical miracle. To go from a septic, rotting wound to this, this shows the incredible resilience of animals and the amazing skill of the rescue team. This is a 10-10 a rescue, an unbelievable transformation.
What a case. This shows that an untreated wound can be just as deadly as any parasite. This team's professional, thorough, and patient work is what made this happy ending possible. This was intense, but I'm so glad we analyzed it. Thank you for making it through this analysis. Please support your local rescuers. Thanks for watching.